Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna and today I'm gonna to be taking you along on a full work from home day in my life, which I'm so excited about. If this is the first time that you're assembling upon my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, to start out, how in the world do some of these girlies wake up with like beautiful hair and not all of this stuff happening? Because not me. Not me, not over here, but this is real life. So normally what I do when I first get up is I open up the blinds, make my bed, and then just kind of like wash my face and just get ready for the day. So let's do all of that together to start the day. Okay. And that is the made bed. I can make sure that I have all of my bedding linked down below. Everything is actually from Target. So now we're gonna head into the bathroom and get ready for the day. Let's start getting ready. I always like to wash my face first thing in the morning. I feel like it brings me back to life. This is like the funniest thing. You're probably all gonna laugh, but I found these on Amazon because I was so sick of getting water down my arms when I would wash my face. So these are like literally, I look like I'm ready to like run and like, attack the day but these are little like bands that keep the water from like dripping down your arm or dripping down your shirt which i know seems really silly but i use them every day before we dive too far in for me washing my face i am going to show you my morning skincare routine so i always wash my face with the tula skincare the cult classic and then for after i wash my face i do the two drunk elephant serums so the blue one is the b hydra intensive hydration serum and then the other one is the c firma fresh day serum now I use these together I absolutely love these always the most important part of any skincare routine is sunscreen inside outside no matter what and I use the super goop sunscreen and then to finish everything off I use the glow and get it Tula skincare eye balm and basically you just like rub this underneath your eyes let it sit for like five or so minutes and then you rub it in and it just really brightens your under eye which I think is great and then after I brush my teeth I put on the Laneige lip sleeping mask just during the day in the morning just to have a little bit of extra life back in my life so this is the morning skincare routine now let's get into actually using all of it okay and just like that face washed teeth brushed hair wet with a little bit of leave-in conditioner and slicked back into my claw clip of the day. So now let's head into the closet and pick out something to wear. I like to dress very comfortably when working from home. I will actually show you our closet right now because I don't think you've ever seen it except for our apartment tour. Here is the closet. It is absolutely massive, huge, and full of just a ton of stuff. So this is all of Corey's clothes. Corey's shoes are down here and then those are all of my sweatshirts and then I need to do a switch over from winter fall to spring and summer so all of that needs to get taken care of and then leggings jeans hats shorts t-shirts and all of that outfit of the day so I decided on this just little like Ron John surf shop I actually got this in Disney Springs on Corey and I's last trip this past April some leggings and some socks so now let's pick out a sweatshirt together two options are as follows this green airy almost like towel thicker consistency consistency green sweatshirt or I have this other one from Aerie which is my absolute favorite sweatshirt in the entire world. I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it's a little bit lighter. I am now gonna make coffee slash breakfast and fill up all of my morning liquids of the day. Have it, Has anyone seen the video where it's on TikTok where it's like the height of luxury is like drinking three liquids at once like one for energy, one for hydration, and one for I don't know fun I, I just i don't even remember what it is but basically it's three drinks and that's like how my morning goes we are gonna make my morning coffee we're gonna fill my water and we're gonna make a liquid iv i drink a liquid iv every single morning but first we're gonna start out with coffee i can also have these linked down below these are my amazon mason jars that come with a little lid i just feel like they're the perfect size for a coffee cup let's pour in the coffee oh okay now I need to froth my creamer. This is actually something that I've been enjoying recently. And I take the Silk Dairy-Free Almond Creamer. This is the flavor vanilla. I do prefer the sweet and creamy, but I actually just ran out of it the other day. Good. 
Well, that froth was nice. Oh, is there anything better than watching the cream fall into the coffee? Coffee of the day, done. Water of the day, filled. And now let's get into our last liquid of the day. My liquid IV. I drink one of these every every single morning for liquid iv i have a cup filled with ice i use just a mini blender bottle because the way liquid iv is supposed to work you are supposed to pour this packet into 16 ounces of water and then shake it or it won't really dissolve so i always just pour water into here shake it up and then pour it into my cup perfect the height of luxury three liquids this is how i go to my desk Every single morning, people probably think that I am absolutely nutso because I am drinking three liquids in the morning. So I'm gonna make a bowl of cereal now, sit down, relax for a little bit, and then I will check in with everyone when I'm sitting down at my desk. So about to sit down for the day, and here's a quick little desk tour. I have my little world traveler map up here and calendar so that I know what day of the week it is and I can see. I have my globe, my little pens, all three of my liquids, mouse pad, wireless mouse, my laptop and then my big desktop and then my headset planner and notepad. Normally when I come in first thing in the morning is I check my email and I make a to-do list or carry over a to-do list from yesterday. My first thing on my calendar today is there for a little bit of time so I have a little bit of wiggle room this morning to be able to get a few things done. So I am gonna go through my to-do list and sort out a few things. Time to check in. So it is now 12 19. So it's about time for me to have some lunch, which is going to be great. All right, let's make some lunch. I ended up making chicken last night. So I'm just going to throw that in the microwave with some extra mashed potatoes that I have as well. And then probably just throw in like a little veggie on the stove. Lunch is made some green beans, chicken, mashed potatoes, and it's going to be delicious. I'm going to eat my lunch. I'm probably going to relax for the next 20 ish minutes. It's now 12 35. So I have about 20. 25-ish minutes before I have to sit down for my next meeting. So I'm gonna throw on some TV and I will check in with you on my break after a few meetings. Let's check the time. It is 3.36, so it has been a crazy, crazy day, but I am ready for a snack, which I cannot wait for. I feel like today's been a busier day than normal. I feel like I've had a lot of meetings, a lot of things to follow up on, so it's just been a crazy day. I am going to make a snack now. Like I said, it's about 3.37 right now and I'm in need of a snack. So for the rest of the day, I have one more meeting at four o'clock and then I have a few little odds and ends that I would like to tie up. And then after that, I'm actually getting my nails done today, thank goodness. And then I'm gonna come back, relax for a little bit. So like I said, let's make a snack. Thinking rice cake, I also need a Diet Coke. My body lives and breathes off of Diet Coke. So let's get a snack. I am the definition of health because Diet Coke and an apple. I am gonna cut up this apple and have it with some peanut butter. At the grocery store, like I think it was last week, Corey and I went, they had Honeycrisp apples back in and they're just my, Honeycrisp apples like are my favorite if you know, you know. Apples cut, gonna grab some peanut butter and then we're gonna go sit back down at my desk. I am back at my desk with my peanut butter and my apples. I feel like there are people who use very little amounts of peanut butter with their apples and I feel like I could go through an entire tub of it and I know it's probably like a lot of sugar and all of that but you know what there's protein in the peanut butter and the apples are fruit so you know what technically it's good for me so I have a few little odds and ends it's now 350 I need to just get a few things organized before my meeting at 4 to 445 and then I'm actually gonna pop back on so that I can show you how I Shut down for the work day, get my to-do list ready for the following day and how I really set myself up for success at the end of a day. And just like that, the work day has come to an end. I just finished up my last meeting of the day. It is 4.54. Now I have to just organize a few things, create a to-do list for tomorrow. I'm definitely a little bit tired today. A little bit of Zoom fatigue, which I feel like is completely normal and completely fine, like normalize Zoom fatigue. We are now going to finalize a few things. Let's actually make my to-do list. What I do is I take just a one sheeter rather than a notepad. So I use this little like memo page from Anthropology. Give it a nice little 
underline today's to do's and then anything I didn't do today I will write on there and anything else that needs to get done for tomorrow I will let's write out our to-do list and get ourselves situated and ready to tackle the day tomorrow For the rest of the night, I am going to make dinner. I have a nail appointment. Hi, okay, so I finished packing up my work bag and then I actually ended up opening a few packages that I got in the mail. So I wanna show you a few new Disney teas that I got. I'll have them linked down below. My first Disney tea is actually from a company called Circa Society. This is a Fantasmic Mickey. I actually have already ordered from them before. I just got that one in the mail and I am so, so excited to finally style it. This next tea is from a shop called Orange State. Look at this amazing, Peter Pan You Can Fly tea. This like minimal cool girl magic is just like next level. And look at the back. I am truly at a loss for words because I love this shirt so much and I cannot wait to style it. And this is just something that I feel like I can wear. I can dress up in the city. I feel like I'm rocking a little bit of Disney, but not too much. This next tea is actually something very, very cool, which I'm very excited to announce. Little announcement, but semi-big for me, is I am finally working with my first ever brand, Park Hop Teas. I'm officially a brand ambassador for them. I ordered this tea, super minimalistic Disney, which I absolutely love. It says, the happiest place on earth. Love Park Hop Teas. They have so many different, absolutely, incredible t-shirts and you can use code Brianna15 at checkout to save 15%. I'll make sure to have their website linked below and my discount code as well. So make sure if you're ordering from them to please use my discount code, support me. I'm so, so excited. But now it is about 6.15. So we are about ready to head out for my nail appointment. So the nice thing about being in Boston is that a lot of things are walking distance. So I literally only need to walk to get my nails done. Just got back from getting my nails done. They came out so good. I really wanted like a bright red and I ended up cutting them down like almost all of my nail off. They were pretty long. I just wanted them to be cut short and fresh and clean. So I did pick up Chipotle for dinner because it is my last night with some self-care before Corey comes back. He's actually on his flight now. It is eight o'clock. He's coming back from Chicago. Chipotle did not have sour cream. And if you know me, you know that I literally cannot live without sour cream. So I ended up problem solving, going to Cadoba, which we have underneath us, and literally buying a soda and a side of sour cream because I needed to have it. But Let's open up dinner. I'm gonna share with you my Chipotle order and then I'm just gonna watch TV and relax until Cory gets home tonight. I am comfortable on the couch. I am literally like wrapped up in a blanket, got my little TV tray ready to watch some TV. I am watching Brogan. She is a UK Disney vlogger and she just recently came back from a trip. So I just wanted to catch up on her fun festivities. I can have her channel linked down below, but Chipotle order, let's get into it. So my Chipotle order is I always get white rice, sometimes brown, but recently I've been on a white rice kick. Steak, corn, sour cream, cheese, guac, and lettuce, but they were out of sour cream, so I ended up, like I said before, running to Cadoba and grabbing some, and then I always drink a Diet Coke, which it is, there it is, right there, because I didn't have room for it up here. So I'm cozied up, I'm ready to eat my Chipotle, watch some TV, completely relax and R&R, &R, long work day. So I will check in with you when it's time for bed. It is late, I am waiting for Corey to come home from Chicago, I have not seen him in five days and I miss him and I am so excited to see him come through that door. I am going to end today's work from home day in my life vlog here thanks so much for sticking around this is my first one and i will definitely be doing some more because i had such a good time so make sure if you've made it this far to hit that subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below your favorite part of the vlog and if you want to see some more of these so good night have a lovely lovely rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye